Did you just call me Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? I didn't come here hoping to kill someone. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Mouth gets ahead of my brains. This Flash Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The Temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. What are we prepared to do if the Flesh Raiders return? The Temple's guards will respond to any invasion, and these surveillance devices will give us ample warning. May the Force be with you, Padawan.
I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Orgus out. Stand by for examination and suggested product. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. What choice do we have? Master Kiwix told me what you found in Kalef. A flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's whole recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengo Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengo was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. Well, the Force was with him if he got out of there alive. The temple was annihilated. Hundreds of Jedi died that day. We never recovered all the bodies. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped.
Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. That's terrible news. Will you be all right? I didn't think the burden of leadership would feel so heavy. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? When have I ever let you down? First time for everything. Not that I'm worried. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Jedi, you came. I was afraid. I didn't think you'd make it. You have to be fast. You have to find my son before he's hurt. I don't understand. What about your son? I knelt at the temple gates. I begged for Jedi help. Isn't that why you came? The Flesh Raiders took him a week ago. They came at twilight. One of them was just covered in blood and scars. He dragged my son away. Listen, our scout saw Vio, my son, on Tytho's Ridge. That's where the raiders have their camp. They say he's hurt. He's bleeding and limping, but he's alive. He's waiting for rescue. I'm a Jedi. This is what we're here for. If you can't find him on Tytho's Ridge, look for a sign. Something he'd leave behind as a signal. He had a satchel with him. He could leave that. The flesh raiders will try to stop you, but I've seen Jedi fight. Help me, Jedi. Help him. It's our duty to protect the weak, and I think these pilgrims qualify. Eo Morgan Jori Nadelka. If by our Simar Sufni or Wazi, the Mjibia for Homupina. Pegarus plot as Vista Bokar Pina, no Nuimarstro de Berkur Burkurni. Even Rexiva Vitu, Semar Pilmor Hunorch, Ux Unar? If these idols are the key to understanding the Flesh Raiders, I'll study them at once. What do you mean, Gethur? But Quoli Drafa ut Potamina.
Jedi? Oh, thank the matriarch. <sighs> Jedi talk. Jedi peace. He he wants to speak to you. He's too weak to fight. Jedi, Jedi peace. He needed someone to help him communicate. That's why he took me away. Why he's letting us meet. I've been trying to teach him your language. You mean he took you as a translator? Yes, it's hard though, and I can't tell when he understands. I, I. Head thing talk. Head thing talk. Learn power. I'm trying. Please, I'm trying. He thinks he has power. He thinks he can use the Force, and he wants Jedi to train him. Tell him we can talk about it after you're safe. Talk power. Talk rock down. Please listen. He's calm now. He'll be calm if we talk. The other Flesh Raiders serve him because they fear his curse. But the Force overwhelms him. He needs to learn from the Jedi to control the power. He's weak. Does he even understand what he's asking? What Jedi training involves? I'm not sure. He thinks the Jedi are hunters. Take power. Hunt power. Go rock den. Head thing flesh. He won't let me go unless you help him get into the Jedi Temple. You can do that, right? Get the Jedi Masters to train him? I'll go to the Temple and see what I can do. <sighs> rock den power. Go rock den. Go tree den. We can meet you outside the Flesh Raiders' den. We'll make camp along the path and watch for you. But be careful. I'd like to go home very soon.
Ah! <laughs> 